In this Microsoft Word tutorial, I want to show you how to create a project that's very common in the business world, yes, but also in the world of education. And it's also useful for families and other organizations too. And that is how to create a calendar in Microsoft Word. So here I am in Word, and I'm just going to go here to File in the upper left, and I'll click New. And that takes me to a screen where I can select a blank document or I can choose a template. Now some of these templates actually exist on my computer. I've used them before and they exist on my computer, but others are in the cloud only. And so if I click on one of these, I may need to install it first on my computer. But that's easy and Word will walk you through that if you need it. So this is what I want, a snapshot calendar. But if you're not sure that that's what you want or if you don't see it here, you can always do a search. So I can click here and search for calendar and it gives me a whole variety of calendars. Some of these I've never seen before, I've never used before, but there's quite a variety, most of which are not on my computer, but I could select the one that I want and use it to build a calendar. I was gonna use this one here, but I think I'll pick this one instead, banner calendar. So I click on it. It gives me a little bit of a preview of what it would look like, and I can click next to get a preview of some of the others as well, but I'm gonna go back and select the one that I initially liked. The first thing it does, once it's made sure that this particular calendar is installed on my computer, the first thing it wants to know is what is the month and the year for the calendar. So I'll stick with August 2019, but I could switch that to any other month, any other year that I need. And on second thought, I will change this. I'll change it to December. Now that I've done that, I can click OK, and you can see what it did. It changed the month here in the upper left. And I get a pop-up that tells me that I can change my mind. I can go to the Calendar tab and choose Select New Dates, or I can press Shift, Alt, Enter. I'll just click OK. But here it is. Because I'm working on a calendar, it brought up a Calendar tab, and I can select new dates and make those changes anytime I want to. While I'm here on the Calendar tab, notice that there are options like themes. I can change the theme of this calendar. That just changed the font, it changed the color scheme a little bit. So try these out. See if you can find a theme that you really like and that matches the purpose of the calendar and the way you want it to look. I'm gonna stick with this one here. You can also leave the theme the same and change colors. So I can just change the color scheme if I prefer to do that. And finally, if I want to, I can just change the fonts. So these calendar options on the calendar tab really are good for making the calendar look just the way you want it to look. And that's above and beyond the template that I started with and installed on this computer. So here's the calendar itself. Let's say I want to add some events on here, some dates and activities, and then I want to print this out and hand it out to students or hand it out at a faculty meeting or a staff meeting. Maybe I want to provide these at church or whatever it might be. How would I go about doing that? Well, I can just go down and first click on a particular day and type in what's gonna happen on that day. So let's say my organization that I'm a part of is gonna do a service project, 7 p.m. I could even put in the details of where it will be held and I can customize that however I want to do. And then just click on another day and type in another event and so forth. One other thing you might wanna look at before printing this calendar is here in the upper right corner, there is a table design tab and you can click there. Because we're dealing with a table here, you can click on table design and make some changes to the calendar. And some of these will change it pretty dramatically. Others are kind of subtle changes, but that is an option to change the way that the calendar shows up. And a lot of the best options are down here, grid tables. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. You can add different colors, etc. Honestly, I still kind of prefer the way it was originally. So I'm going to click undo a few times to go back to the original look of the calendar. Okay, so let's say my calendar is now done. It's ready to be shared with other people. I can just go to File and Print. It's going to print it out in landscape format, which is perfect in this case. And I can just print it out and hand it out to the people. If you want to share it electronically, that is an option too. If you sign in to your account, and this would be your Office 365 account or your Microsoft OneDrive account, basically if you're signed into Microsoft, you should be able to share it digitally so that they can access it that way. 
Another option though is to just click File, Save, and I could save this to my computer and then simply add the saved file of this calendar to an email and send it out to people that way. But that's it. Pretty easy, right? To create a calendar in Microsoft Word. Those are the steps that you need. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. Music